book covers, do people really judge? Do people really judge a book by its cover? Yes, yes they do. The first book cover I ever made was constructed out of a garish wallpaper a home improvement store donated to my teacher. It eventually fell apart and was probably recycled. Hey, I was in grade school, but I've learned a thing or two since then. Actually, ten things, which I will share with you. Traditionally published and self-published cover info. If you're self-publishing, it's up to you to research imagery and commission or create a design yourself. If you're seeking traditional publishing, the team takes care of this for you. In some cases, you'll have the opportunity to share concept ideas and potentially vote on which cover you'd like to go with. However, chances are they'll make the final call. For this reason, the following list <clears throat> primarily refers to indies. Number one, first glance. The book cover is the entry point for your readers. If it's eye-catching and or fits your genre, giving the reader both the satisfaction of imagery that looks familiar and like something they'd like to read given their tastes as well as new, since they haven't read it yet, obviously, then they're more likely to read the blurb and or move on to buy it. Two, second thoughts. You may have an amazing idea. Amazing, but before you go about whipping it up on paint or hiring someone to make your cover, be sure to do some research. You want your cover to look like it belongs on the shelf next to the other books in your genre, while also being unique. Take note of popular imagery, fonts, colors, and style of the bestsellers and popular books in your genre. Number three, third chance. If you're creating a series, it's a good idea to have the covers easily recognizable as being in the same series. This is called series branding. Once you have a gist of what you'd like to create, you have a few options. This is not an area you want to skimp. You can four, design this cover yourself. The success of this depends on two factors. One, your design skills using a professional program, not the Paint app or Microsoft on your computer. I say this because there are books for sale that were clearly made with this method. And two, your genre. If you're going this route, be absolutely sure you have the right to use the cover image. There are many photo stock sites you can purchase licensing rights for publication, but read the fine print. It's illegal to take a random photo from online and use it on your cover. Again, I say this because it's been done. Five, templates. If publishing on Amazon, you can use their book design templates. This method isn't particularly recommended because it won't produce the most professional cover for your book. Six, Premades. Search online for pre-made covers available from reputable sites. This option is often much cheaper than commissioning a custom cover, and you can find hundreds of covers in every genre by very talented cover artists. 7. Custom cover. Find a cover designer to make a custom cover for you. This is a great idea if you're writing in a series. If you're looking for something specific, there are wonderful folks who will create a cover conveying the themes and feel of your story for you, ranging from $5, yes, you read that right, to thousands. Check out the members only um, WPP Facebook group for cover artist recommendations or the website Fiverr, a hosting site for graphic artists and more. 8. Additional options to consider. Additional options to consider using the cover concepts are paperback cover. If you're going into print as well, take note of the size of your cover, page count, and color of paper, usually cream or white. You or your graphic artist will need this info for the design. Bookmarks, website, blog banners and badges, social media, many other creative options featuring your design. 9. A makeover. If you already published a book and it isn't doing well, consider whether the cover needs updating. You may love it, but if it's not converting to sales, get honest about the need to find a new one. 10. Vote. If you've whittled it down to a tie between two covers and simply cannot decide which one you like more, you can survey your reader group, newsletter subscribers, or other author friends in your genre. Cover notes. If you purchased a cover, include cover designer attribution on the copyright page of your book. If purchase, purchasing a stock photo for the cover image, check the rights for reproducing it and get the highest quality image available. Ditto above for fonts. Make sure they're licensed for your intended use. Be sure to have copies of your book with file extensions, JPG, PNG, PDF for various uses. You can also turn your cover into a 3D book image using this handy and free website, DIYBookCovers.com slash 3D mockups.